Nityanandam, I welcome you all with my love and respects and the divine blessings of my Guru, His Divine Holiness, Bhagwan Shri Nityananda Paramashivam. Today I wanted to share something with you regarding the power of creating a reality, the power of generating a will, an intention to manifest what we want. Swamiji has been saying for now many years that the only thing you need to do to manifest what you want is to create an intention. It sounds so simple, and it is. But many times we would have experienced that we would have generated an intention or a decision inside our inner space and things would have not manifested, that reality would have not happened for us. What I realized recently is that when we generate an intention, it has to be generated consciously. When we generate a conscious intention, our mind, thoughts, actions, words align towards that intention and we therefore manifest what we want. Sometimes we generate an intention but very casually or we respond to life in a very casual way and generate these thoughts. At that moment, we personally believe that we really want that, but very quickly we can see that it is not manifesting. That is also why Swamiji focuses so much on showing the result of what intention we have created or what we are doing. The result or the reality that is manifesting is a direct reality check or feedback towards what space we are cherishing. When we see that we are generating an intention and the result is not manifesting the way we want, then we can start to realize that there is a blind spot or there is a lack of will or a lack of intention inside our inner space. And then we have the uh, capacity to go back to our inner space, realign, recreate an intention, recreate a conscious decision, and then go towards that once again with a fresh energy rejuvenated and alive. So having the, Swamiji was saying in one satsang that the first thing you need to know, that you need to see when you want to change something in your life is that you need to see that you are not aligned to it. When you are falling, you need to have the courage to see and to accept or to realize that you are falling. The moment you cognize that you are falling, then you can decide to stop and then you can manifest something different. You can raise once again. So it is very important to infuse a lot of awareness in our inner space when we generate an intention. It should not just be generated casually. When we make it consciously, when we create a conscious intention, then we will consciously align. Every time that we act, think or speak, we will remember that intention and we will use the words, the actions and the thoughts accordingly. And when that alignment is kept, when that integrity is kept with our intention, then the reality will manifest, it will start unfolding before us. So that's a very powerful thing. Uh, many times, like I, like I just shared, we feel we really, really want it, but it's not happening. So that is why it's very important to see, is it, to, to, to check, is it happening, what we want, is it happening or not happening? If it is not happening, then we need to realize, oh my God, it's not happening. So that means my intention is not pure, it is not integrated, it's not sincere. Because Swamiji said that a simple intention can manifest the reality you want. Then we have to look in our inner space and we need to realign everything. Sometimes we want something, but for that we will have to perhaps face few situations. And in front of one of these situations, we really, really don't want to experience that. So in front of that, we will stop. Our actions, thoughts and words will no longer be aligned to our intention. They will be aligned to the decision not to engage with that situation. So that means that at that moment, our intention to not face that situation is more powerful than the intention to create what we initially wanted to do. So then we have two options. We can decide to continue to 
not wanting to face that and change the kind of reality we want to manifest, change our intention, or we can drop it at the feet of the guru, overcome or drop the resistance and move forward with this, face the situation, move forward and go towards the goal and manifest the intention. So the science of constantly working towards manifesting your reality is really the best way to constantly align ourselves to the reality, to constantly iron our inner space and uh, see where we really stand and really discover what is actually lying down in our inner space. Many, many things are there and we are not deciding to necessarily see all these things. But when you constantly work with the reality and the science of manifesting what you want, you will be seeing these things more and more and aligning them. And the more they are aligned, the more we manifest what we want. And when that happens, then we will be fulfilled, we will be happy, we will feel powerful. Uh, because in the whole process, Swamiji always focuses so much on these two things. Do not cherish self-doubt and always be powerful. Always have powerful cognitions. When you're always powerful, you will always be making decisions, taking responsibility for these decisions and moving forward every moment, what, no matter what kind of situation is presented in front of us. So that is one thing that uh, one uh, click understanding cognitive shift I had recently and I really felt that uh, I should share that with you because uh, it's, I, I feel it's very, very powerful and it really helps us to understand that what is inner space, what is conscious creation, what is the science of intention, what is the will, the generating a will, like Swamiji said. So uh, that is all for today. If you have any forms of questions, if you want any form of help, please do contact me on Facebook for third eye reading, third eye scanning, uh, manifesting powers or any questions. Uh, the link will be in the description below. My name on Facebook is Sri Nitya Ashutosh Ananda. So add me, send me a message. Um, I'll be responding to you as fast as possible. So I am open to answer any questions or um, to help you to manifest what you want or do any form of uh, third eye manifestation. So keep that in mind. And uh, so have a comment below if you have any questions also. Keep like the video if you felt it was useful. Subscribe to the channel to know more about the latest videos uploaded and uh, let us now have a quick look at a glimpse of a discourse that Swamiji gave about the science of will. Nityananda. Listen. Please come to the space of listening. Please understand. Even when you don't understand, even while you don't realize The consciousness continues to radiate through you because the consciousness is independent of your good, bad, right, wrong skill sets, abilities, your consciousness is independent of your right, wrong, good, bad and abilities. It doesn't get touched. The manifestation of your pure consciousness is depending on only one thing. Your will to manifest, that's all. Your consciousness is no way affected by any action, right, wrong, good, bad, nothing. It is a simple will to express or not, that's all. Only one thing, your will to manifest are not. That's all. There ends everything. Do you want your consciousness to manifest 
in your emotions in your psychology in your physiology in your biomemory in your muscle memory in your actions in your senses that's all it matters will is the only thing unfortunately when you do not have will you go on bringing the society others people everything to support your decision that is what is the conspiracy against yourself it's a conspiracy you do against yourself if you master the science of manifesting will actually there is no science in it it is straight forward street smart rudeness with you that's all in simple two line i can put it straight forward street smart rudeness with you eh what i want to do this let me do it that's all your simple will can find its way like mother ganga and break the himalayas understand ganga breaks the himalayas not because of power but because of persistence water breaks the hill not because of power but because of persistence the will as the quality of persistence but you always feel it should be powerful immediately it should become reality otherwise my will is useless please understand the will is not made of the material called power it is made of the material called persistence the base material for the will is persistence not power you have a wrong understanding you think i'll make the will now in next 10 minutes it has to happen if not my will is failure i don't have will power and i'll get fall into the self doubt self denial self hatred and go to this john ram tumun tum dum dim psychiatrist understand power also manifest from the will no doubt yes the water cuts the rock no doubt power do happens but persistence is the material base material out of which your will is made so when you make a will whether you have will power or not whether your will is successful or not the measurement scale is are you trying to play with it are you persistent about it not does it manifest as power immediately understand persistence is the base material of will with this i bless you all let you all radiate with integrity authenticity responsibility enriching casting living shuddhadvaita saivam the eternal bliss nityananda thank you be blissful